Hi guys, I'm Erica Parker, your queen of real estate with eXp Realty, and I'm super excited to bring you guys Park Bench The Woodlands. It is a local community website that highlights local businesses, provides events, deals, everything that you can imagine. It's all a part of this website, and I just wanted to introduce myself as well. So I'm originally from the Dallas-Fort Worth area, but I tried to get to Houston and the Woodlands as quickly as possible. I've been here now for over 12 years and I've really just, I love this city and I will never leave it, I don't think. So I, I wanted to bring this to you as a helpful source for you and resource for you to help support your local businesses and local charities. And so I just wanna bring that and highlight those things for you. So I decided to become a real estate professional because my actually my background is in contract negotiation and so I have a very well and comprehensive understanding of contracts and so I decided after I had been a real estate investor for a few years that I really wanted to be a part of helping other people get where they wanted to go if it was in their building their real estate empire or if it's just buying their next house their dream home or buying their first home whatever the case may be or selling their home because sometimes that can be stressful as well so i decided to become a real estate agent just to help people get to where they want to go in life and in the real estate realm Some of my business role models would definitely be uh, Tony Robbins, Tom Ferry. So Tony Robbins definitely in the self-improvement and self-help arena and just mindset that matters. Then uh, Tom Ferry for actually as a real estate agent, what I should do and what I can do to help bring more value to my clients because that's ultimately what I want to do is provide you with help, provide you with value. Also in the investing arena, I, I follow both Than Merrill, I follow Shanoa Grove and, and Phil Grove here in Texas. So I'm big on understanding what your options are in the investing arena and then picking out what your long-term and short-term strategies are and then figuring out what our game plan is to get you there. So that's why I really love to follow both the, the Groves and Than Merrill and the Fortune Builder companies because they provide you an all around understanding of investing and all the different aspects that you can invest in. So what makes me stand out from other real estate professionals is one, I just have a, a large background in contracts negotiation, so I can negotiate with the best of them. I know what the contract says, what it means, what kind of terms to negotiate, and I can help you with that along the way and, and give you those step-by-step -step options. The other part of that is that I do provide uh, digital marketing. I have a very keen understanding and wide breadth of understanding on digital marketing and retargeting. So I will do that for your property. In addition, I do a lot of my own social media marketing. So I do that as well so that I have a wider base for me to show properties with. Also, in addition to that, I do feel like I'm continuing to try to add value to my experience for my clients. So adding a cleaning service to come in and, and deep clean your home before pictures, I provide that. If it's also a champagne house tour for my clients, then I'll provide that as well. So we'll do house tours where I take, you know, we, I provide the, the chauffeuring and, and we have champagne and we enjoy talking and, and everything. Or when I say we, my clients, I'm driving, but that's that's a, an added value that i do provide and i like to continue to improve on the experience that my clients will have i also have created a what a buyer wants quiz 
and I also provide um, a lot of other things on the selling side as well. So definitely if you're interested in that, I can definitely sit down with you and talk to you more about what my competitive advantage is over others. But if you're looking for a real estate agent, I'd love to chat with you on that. I guess probably my highest highs in life so far obviously are my wedding day. I love my husband so much and I'm so happy to be married to him. And so I definitely feel like that's probably my highest high, but not far behind that is the birth of both my kids. I love my kids and I love being a part of their lives and then they just bring so much joy to our lives and we love to, to have them. So those are probably my highest highs. Um, I know that's kind of sentimental and maybe, you know, cliche, but it is that. Um, on a business sense, probably my highest high was the, the day I quit my nine to five job. It's, uh, it's definitely when I finally said, hey, I'm not going to do this job anymore. I want to do real estate full time and this is, this is what I want to do. That was probably one of my, my scariest moments, but one of the best moments of my life and choices that I've made in my life. So probably the person that has had the biggest impact on my life from childhood is my dad. Now I love my mom, she's my biggest fan and, and my best friend, but my dad has definitely had the biggest impact on me in a business wise. And really he just taught me to lead my life with honesty and loyalty. And that's what I do on a daily basis. I, I want to provide and conduct myself with integrity and I want people to know that that's how I, how I conduct myself. And I do believe that reputation is what gets you in the door on most places. So, you know, that's why I try and keep my reputation above reproach. Um, I think the best memory I can I can have and it's not just one but my mom used to always pile us three kids I'm, I'm the youngest of three and we're only about three years apart but she used to pile us all in the car and we'd go on what she called adventures and it really wasn't like that we did anything crazy but we'd just kind of drive around the neighborhoods and find something to go do and you know, it was just kind of what she called an adventure. We'd be driving around, we'd stop at a new store, or we'd drive around and we'd stop at a new uh, restaurant, or we'd drive around and find a new park to go and play at. And so it was always kind of fun, and, and we've had, we had a lot of adventures. We do laugh about some of the adventures we have because there were a lot of mishaps, but I think it's what gave me the passion to support local and for me to go and, you know, kind of ride, ride around in this community of the woodlands and, and find some cool hidden gems and, and you know, hole in the wall places that are just fantastic. And I love trying all those new places and, and I think that's what gave me my passion for that. If a young person asked me that, I would probably tell them that they should live their life without regret. And I also would probably tell them to continue to educate themselves. Even if it's, you know, they went to college for one thing, but they find that they have a hobby that they love, then continue to learn about that hobby or continue to grow in other ways. And, and really that self-help, self-education is, is really a great way to help you with that. I also, if you do have any kind of want to be a CEO or an entrepreneur of your own, I definitely think reading new books and reading and continuing to expand in that and expand your mind is going to be essential for you to be successful. And on average, CEOs read about 60 books a year. Live life without regret, follow your dreams, all of that, but also just continue to learn. I've got a lot of things I want to be remembered for. I, I want to be known as a, a loving wife. I want to be known as a wonderful mom and grandmother and great grandmother if possible. And you know, just someone that contributed to her community. I, I, that's my personal goal. My professional goal is to leave a mark on, on this world, however that might be. I 
I do want to leave a mark on my with my professional career. I want people to remember me as someone that is honest and effective in what she does, both in real estate, as a, as a real estate agent, an investor, an educator. I want people to remember me as someone that provided them with with information that provided them with new things that they could learn and that provided them with their dream home. So that's, that's what I want to be remembered for. Well guys, thank you so much. I hope you found this information helpful to get to know me a little bit more. I'd love to get to know you as well. If you have any recommendations on local businesses that I can interview or you'd like to highlight, please feel free to reach out to me. Also, if you're looking to buy a house, sell a house, or invest, I'd love to talk to you about what your goals are for the future and see if we can't help work together on that. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.